Well, this has a bit of a real issue. Hello and welcome to another Mr. Beats Byte video and this one's a little bit different insofar as we're looking at this uh, Toshiba V9600. Um, I do like these machines and this one actually has found a new home. Uh, it's pretty much immaculate. It's, it's a really lovely machine and it was in a previous video where I did all the belts, all the rubbers, went right away through it, power supply fault I think it had as well, all sorted out. Um, but we do have an issue with it. Um, it's something I cover, covered in the um, Toshiba V33 uh, video uh, not too long ago. And I shall demonstrate what the issue is. <laughs> Tape's a bit funny. It's this winding. Um, and with use, it does improve, but then you leave it overnight and it's it's back to its old tricks again. So um, in this video, we're going to look at why that happens and the fix, basically. So uh, yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so we start by taking the top off, um, then we'll take the uh, front panel off and a little bit different to the V31. The V31 and 33, you don't actually have to remove the bottom cover. This one, you don't necessarily have to remove the bottom cover, but um, you do need to take the screws out from the front of it. So, this one here, and this one here, and that should allow us to putting up this tab here and then there's two tabs on the side which you sort of push in uh, that one's not actually in on this side and then we should be able to just pull it forward and it will pop out so i think in theory you're supposed to be able to do it without releasing those two screws but in practice i found it's it's ugly as <laughs> with the plastics Okay, so next is to remove the front loading system. Uh, can't really see this very well, but there's four screws. Uh, one here, uh, one through, you access through this hole here, you need a, a pretty long screwdriver to get to that. Same on this side, and then one here. So just do that. All the same type of screw like that, or should be. Okay, and then what we're going to do is get something just to insulate electrically the front loading system from the rest of the electronics. And we're going to swing this round. It's a connector here. This is for the tape in. Um, so this tape in indica indicator set in. Um, and that's it. We are in. So. Uh, what we can do now, I'm just going to take these those screws out. The other two screws are just sort of quite happily resting in there for now. Um, they should be okay. Let's also be mindful of the ground strap here. Ground's the top of the uh, front loading system. So, um, get a parrot back on and turn it on and get a cassette, anything will do. Like so. Um, so let's just give this a go. So fast forward. I mean it's, yeah, I mean it's, it's actually not too bad. And to be fair, with use it is improving.
But uh, yeah, I think it would benefit. Oh, I didn't clean very well there, did I? Um, it would benefit with uh, having a good clean. So uh, yeah, let's do that next. So the best thing I've actually found for this is Rubber Renew. Now, generally, I don't like using Rubber Renew um, because, well, it's it's quite harsh on rubber. But what we're actually cleaning isn't rubber. It's actually plastic. Um, and it's plastic edges to these reels. And it does do a really good job at cutting through all the grime on the um, on the friction surfaces of the reels. So I'll just be able to see it's picking up a fair bit. Oops, didn't do that too often. And it's almost like it's removing sort of the contaminated rubber from the previous tyre. Um, which just seems to cause a real problem, <laughs> pardon the pun, on these machines. And basically I'm just going to keep going until I don't get any more off the reel. So that's coming up clean now. So do the same on this side. And the rewind doesn't seem quite so bad, but it does take a little while to really start to break down the contamination on there. So don't just give it a quick wipe and think, oh yeah, it's fine. You have to almost let it soak. Um, just keep going. See, that's starting to really pull off the rubbish now. And I think that's the secret. I mean, you can use isopropyl. Um, you can even remove them and give them a jolly good clean out of the uh, deck, which is not a bad idea. But um, I've just found rubber renew, and just keep persevering because it's taking the rubber out of the friction material um, on the, the plastic reel. Um, like I say, just keep going until it's no longer removing anything off the off the reel. The the cotton bud is clean. Let's get another. Yeah, more's coming off. Do you see what I mean though? It it's sort of you've got to keep going really. Um Let's see what this one's like now. Yeah, that's that's clean now. So it just persevere with it. You know, even once it's clean, just leave it for a minute or two, and then give it another go. And if it's clean after that, then you know you're good. But you just have to keep going. There we go. Perfect. Right, um, I'm going to leave that for 10 minutes now just to make sure that all the rubber renew has evaporated away and uh, we'll give it a go. So it's been a couple of hours, uh, let's give it a try. That's so much better, look at that. I can make it. Vibrates a little bit, but just give it. I don't know. That is perfect. Excellent. So um, that's all done. Uh, but one th other thing I was a little bit concerned about with this machine. I think the um, front loading me mechanism is slightly out of time. So um, let's have a look at that. Okay, so looking at this, it does actually look as if it's correct. Um, if I look at 
these here and the two pegs um, I can actually line them up uh, can I get it so it doesn't give you a parallax over um, so they that's fine um, if I just run through um, all the different um, switches and uh, what they do and sort of mechanism bits and pieces um, this here this is the um, the basket in inhibits so basically if there's no cassette in there but you push this with your hand basically what it will do is it will stop the basket from going in so if like a kid pushes their hand in and pushes against this it will try and take a tape in but because there's no cassette in there um, it'll inhibit it and that is actually actuated by a little bit of plastic there so that, that actuates that um, then you've got the front door mechanism so it opens the door to let the cassette out which is here spring here and that goes up to this um, mechanism here which sort of you see moves the door and that is actuated by this brass colored piece of metal here and that goes into a cam here um, so switches uh, I believe that is basket down and that is the record inhibit so if you knock out the tab um, it won't allow you to record if it's in actuates the switch and uh, that's basically it it's a fairly simple uh, mechanism if you lock this so it doesn't catch and then you put um, voltage on the motor it will actually run you can actually use a pp3 so uh, i'll just demonstrate that for you now okay so here it goes um i will say with the um the pushing this in inhibitor there's one on this side as well and all i've done to disengage them is just remove the spring so there's a spring here and that goes onto a little peg there so just take that off either side it's fairly easy to do um, and that um, takes off the inhibitor when it's upside down um, gravity obviously has a bit of an effect this battery is a bit flat so run it and you can see it's on a continual loop so if I do it the other way there's a matter on polarity it's continual which is actually quite cool uh, which way am I going that way so it's just a really cool way of testing the front loading system and if you want to run grease into it like if you've got one that's really you've gone right the way through it cleaned it all up I mean this one's been pretty well gone through um, but you want to run the grease into it that's a great way to do it so uh, yeah that's really cool so I suppose we ought to put this back together let's crack on so there's the inhibitor on the other side and the spring just hooks on there um, sorry I couldn't show that it's, uh, it's actually really difficult to get any sort of viewing angle but uh, yeah I just did it with my fingers so yeah that's cool okay so put this back in um, connector first of all and this connector as well so I tend to put this one on first um, then connector on the back of the front loading system pushes on I've already put the, all the screws in place um, so it's a matter of dropping it down hoping you don't upset the screws make sure it's seated nicely and drop the screws
And there we have it, all back in place. Um, losing my voice. <laughs> okay, so let's give it a try. Um, and for all those who like to hear and see sort of the, the loading and working of a machine, here we go. So fast forward. And rewind. Perfect. And play. So that's great. Uh, don't mind the speed of the heads. Um, it's to do with frame rate. It looks as if they're running a lot slower than they actually are. But uh, yeah, that's that's really good. Um, so I suppose I ought to get the front panel on and um, we'll give it a test. Oh, let's eject the cassette. Lovely. Okay, so front panel back on. And both tabs have located properly, lovely. And then screws. So there we go. All good to go. I'm going to put the top cover on just yet because I want to give the um, tape path a thorough clean. But uh, yeah, let's um, let's give it a test. Okay, so let's test this now. Um, so we've got audio in, audio out, video in, video out. So audio out. I've got a um, one to two there just so it uh, makes life a bit easier for the sound side of things. I'm going to capture this as well. Um, so set in. No idea what's on this cassette. So there it is. Um, recording. Uh, rec Pants. So there it is playing back. Um, I had a slight issue because I grabbed this cassette and I know it's a bad cassette and I put it in and oh, I clogged the heads. So uh, not ideal, but uh, you can see the screen capture uh, there in the top corner. Um, struggling a bit to find <laughs> something I can actually play about. It should be all right with this. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with the machine um, and um, you know it's just just so fast I mean that's that's quite a way through the cassette but either way I mean it's really really just so fast now so yeah with that um, I hope you learned something and I hope that really helps. Um, it's, it's sort of great to um, get these machines running properly and uh, that's really a key part of it. So you can get the belt kits nice and easily with the idler tyre but you will still have problems unless you do that full clean. So with that thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe as well if it's helped you out and uh, lots more great content to come and see you in another video. Bye for now.